Hello everybody. I wanted to make a review on the Toro Multiforce, specifically the plow. This is not a machine for everybody. If you're using this in the summer and you're also doing plowing, obviously, uh, this could be a great machine. I think it's a great machine if you have commercial uh, contracts, bigger places, specifically with a lot of sidewalks or a lot of nooks and crannies. This thing, uh, especially in today's market where finding people to shovel is extremely difficult. Uh, this is great. I would say um, if you are a very, very big uh, contractor and you have a lot of plowing business, you might want to go with like a Ventrec SSV or something specifically made just for sidewalks. But if you're in that midsize where you have some commercial work, but you're also, um, you know, not looking to have a dedicated machine, this thing is great because you're gonna be able to use it in the summer and winter, and uh, you're able to make that payment on this machine year round. So if you're in that scenario, I think it's a great machine. If you only do residential or a few small places, might not be the right machine, but even if you only do residential, um, I think this machine could still be a, a good fit, but there's some criteria. At those large commercial places, as you'll see in the footage, it, it saves a ton of time. It's a no-brainer for that. Um, it's very maneuverable. If you've ever operated a zero turn, obviously. Um, I would recommend getting wheel weights or some chains, uh, or even honestly, in my opinion, the wheel weights aren't as big of a deal. I would just get a different tread tire. I'd get a snow tire because this thing has no problem pushing snow. It's just once it gets, these tires get packed full, they start slipping and just lose traction. The one thing I will say about residential, we tried it out. We thought we were going to save a ton of time because we do also do a lot of residential. And I think we actually were slower. <laughs> and uh, the reason is you have to haul this thing. We haul it on that trailer right there. Um, and we use those ramps every time, every stop, you got to unload this thing, put it back on, strap it down. Um, and that takes a lot more time than if you were to just grab a shovel and get to work. Now, if you have where I think this would make sense for residential, I mean, if someone has a really big, well, if someone has a really big driveway, you're better off with a tractor, a tractor or a truck. Um, but if you have a lot of residential in a dense area and you can limit the amount of times that you have to stop and get that thing off the trailer, if you can take this thing off the trailer and do a bunch of driveways, you're golden. Now, if you're in a situation where you're in a densely populated area, I would opt for the tractor. But here's where this is faster than the tractor. You'll see here, I have a shovel on the back. Um, now you're not going to get around staircases with this, but there's a lot of city sidewalks and people's walkways that I do with this shovel. So I have to get out of the tractor, shovel, get back in and get going again. Versus if you were on this thing, uh, again, if they had steps, um, I mean, it would still be faster to get off, grab a shovel and do steps with this thing. But anyways, um, if they just have walkways or a city sidewalk, I mean, you can buzz those out right on this. It takes no time. So if you have a densely populated route with a lot of shoveling to do, I would opt for this thing and limit the amount of times that you're having to park that trailer. So this thing actually can be amazing for residential. You just have to have a very dense route and you know not be afraid to be out in the elements also. Like I said, that's doing some commercial plowing, um, but you're also doing a lot of lawn care in this a lot of lawn maintenance mowing in the summer and uh, this thing is going to be the machine for you if you're doing residential plowing where you have a really dense route and you're also doing a lot of sidewalks that are accessible with this which most are unless there's steps this thing's going to be great um, the only area that you're not going to be great is if you have to travel long distances um, if you have a ton of commercial plow i mean it would still work if you are a big company uh, and you, you know, you do lawn, a, lot, a ton of lawn mowing and a ton of plowing. If you're a really large company though, I would say get the SSV. Um, if you have like long, long stretches of sidewalk, I think it's just better made for it. It's specifically made for it. Um, but then again, 
this thing can also mow. So getting something that can mow and do the sidewalks, maybe it is better than the SSV. I'm just going, I've never used an SSV. I'm just going based off of that because it's specifically made for sidewalks. Um, I think also you can use like uh, some de-icers and stuff. So in that aspect, that's definitely a plus for the SSV. Anyways, um, if you're doing, like I said, a ton of residential, this is not gonna be the machine for you unless, like I said, it's a very dense route with a lot of sidewalks. Um, it's obviously gonna be less expensive than a tractor. I mean, this thing has saved me a ton of time uh, on dense routed residentials. Um, it's obviously got a lot bigger blade, but uh, anyways, that's my two cents on using this. I love it personally. I think it's awesome. Uh, I was looking for any reason to use it, but we actually did have a really legitimate reason to use it. Um, right now, we use it to do our commercial contracts and then some of the residential. This tractor, like I said, does a lot of the residential, but I find myself getting out and doing a lot of the shoveling. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll end up with a second multi-force and uh, I would like to have one of us um, on that multi-force doing the route that I do with the tractor, or at least helping in that route. I'd be interested to see because I think the multi-force would be quite a bit faster. Toro has a very good deal. If you know about it, the points program, um, you can get, if you spend a certain amount of money or a certain amount of points, you get like 21% off MSRP, which is really sweet. Anyways, that's my two cents. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, get a multi-force. They're cool. <laughs>